Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. Today, we have an interesting video for you. Today, I'm going to talk about a solar panel that was sent out to review from Golden Soul. Now the current price point at the time of me filming this video for this solar panel on Amazon is $119.99. However, they do offer a 50% off coupon. So you could pick this up for like 60 bucks. So here's a look at the company that this solar panel came from. Here is some warranty information in the package you see some silicone gel and you also have the owner's manual so feel free to pause your screen if this is any information that you want to hang on to these are some of the specifications of the solar panel and then right here there is some questions and answers how to how to use the panel and then some caution information and a little bit of warranty. So this panel has a one year warranty. I'm very excited about this panel and especially knowing that they have that 50% off coupon that I talked about just a second ago. So when you get the panel, it's got these very nice strong Velcro enclosures for the legs and they have flexible material right here these legs are very nice so you have a leg on each side of the panel and that velcro <laughs> is very strong so you got these flexible portions in the middle and these legs are nice and wide I bet you those are three and a half inches wide they're pretty good so there's a size of the panel there so what we're doing here as far as length and, and dimensions this would be considered the folded length. So we got 20.47 inches by 13.78 inches with a thickness of 1.57 inches. If you want to take that and get it into millimeters, we're looking at 520 millimeters by 350 millimeters by 40 millimeters. Now on the side here, you have a very nice zipper pouch. Very nice right here. So you can open this door and you'll find inside these little adapters. So you get four adapters with this panel. You get a five and a half by two and a half. You get a six and a half by 4.2. You get a three and a half by 1.35. These are all millimeters. And then of course you get the one that I like the most. This is the eight millimeter one. And this is the one that we're gonna use to recharge solar generators and things like that. So it's very cool that they include these adapters with this solar panel. So very cool. Next thing you see is the cord itself and the cord has a connector here that will correspond to whatever adapter you wish to use. Okay, so in our case, we're probably going to use that eight millimeter. So very nice. They just plug and play. It's very simple. You have a nice solid cord here. Good thick cord. This panel puts out 60 watts of power and it's a monocrystalline panel. I'll talk a little more about it here in a second. But here's the cord. So I'm looking at this. It's probably about 10 feet long, I'm guessing. Very nice, heavy duty, durable cord. So right now we're taking a look at the controller itself on the solar panel. You have a little indicator light. You have a USB-C and a USB-A. So this USB-A can run three different uh, outputs. It can do five volt at 3.4 amp. 
it can also put out at 9 volt 2.5 amp or 12 volt 2 amp. Now if you go to the USB-C it also has 5 volt 3 amp it has 9 volt 2 amp or 12 volt 1.5 amp. Now when you want to talk about the output of the DC from this panel which is this cord here you get an output of 18 volts with a maximum of 3.3 amps. The weight of this panel is 260 kilogram or 5.73 pounds. Take a look at these handles. They're thin but they're functional. There's some Velcro right here on the top and bottom of the panel and it's a small amount of Velcro but it's just enough to get the job done. It's just enough to kind of hold this shut. Now you don't have to worry too much about holding this shut because as you carry the panel you carry it in a closed position anyway so I'm not too worried about that now when you open the panel you can see you have 60 watts of power <laughs> this is cool these are ETFE panels and they have a 22 percent high conversion rate very nice now ETFE is very nice these are almost scratch resistant the manufacturing process that they put into these panels is very good and like I mentioned this is 60 watts monocrystalline panel so it's not a poly it's a mono so you get a very nice panel here I'm very excited to take this out and test this because I've always liked ETFE panels and I've always liked monocrystalline the ETFE is nice and even though they say all over the website that this is a non water resistant panels keep it away from water that's all true because we're dealing with electronics here but let me be real with you ETFE is fairly water resistant so my personal opinion if you're gonna get a little bit of rain uh, it's not gonna hurt this panel one bit because of the way it's manufactured now they're probably saying keep it away from water because of this uh, housing and stuff around the panel which would uh, be like a sponge and it would hold water so that's probably why they're warning to stay away from water so you just come on over here unfold the panel pull these legs down flip the thing around aim it towards the Sun just like that then get on over here to the charge controller portion of it on the back and plug in whatever it is that you wish to charge in my case today it's going to be my phone using a USB-C cable and from here I'm going to take my phone out and we'll get my phone charging and there we go we are now charging and it's that simple it doesn't take nothing to set this up it's very easy you can get your phone charged and then when you're finished it's very easy disconnect your phone put your phone away close this back zippered portion here the legs automatically go kind of into position you got your nice carry handle make sure that these are shut and that's all there is to it it's a very very simple easy to deploy very effective solar panel When the panel is being powered by the sun, you can see this red indicator illuminated. I like that because it tells you that you're bringing in sun and that you're generating power. So here's a look at the solar panel in action. And I got to be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed with the performance out of this thing. Let me show you what I got going on here. This is my small Blue Eddy. And right now I'm charging this, bringing in between 41 and 47 watts. Right now you can see it's around 43. I also have two 18650 lithium ion rechargeable batteries charging simultaneously. So I'm doing all of this at the same time. And I'm still bringing in 42 watts. So what's impressive for me is this being a 60 watt panel 
it's doing a good job. I mean, I'm bringing 43 watts in while charging two batteries. So this panel is definitely producing very good power. It's doing a great job right now. I just saw this spike just a second ago. It jumped up to 47 watts. And to get all of that out of a 60 watt panel, that's pretty impressive. Now take a look at this panel for size comparison. I have it sitting next to the Nupoa 60 watt solar panel. And this one is much smaller, but it still produces the same amount of power that we're getting out of this Nupoa. Look at the thickness of the legs. Look at how skinny those legs are versus the legs here. Look at that. The legs are a lot thinner here and a lot beefier here. So I like the, the legs on the back of this Golden Soul panel. So my final thoughts on this panel are very simple. It was extremely easy to set up. The panel's not heavy. It doesn't have any extra stuff on it. It's just exactly what you need and it does its job very well. Currently, I'm bringing in between 47 and 48 watts. 46 watts currently, 48, you saw that. This thing is working very well. Now there is one thing about this solar panel that I was disappointed with. The small blue eddy that you saw here in the video, it charged this one perfectly, no problems at all. But other solar generators that I tried to charge using this panel would not charge. I tried to do the large blue eddy, it wouldn't even give me any input at all. I tried to charge the X-Star, this yellow one, and the blue one, no input at all. I tried to charge the Tech Os, nothing, it wouldn't work. I even tried this Opus and it didn't charge it either. So I'm just putting that out there to be real with you guys. The only solar generator that it was able to charge was this small Blue Eddy. Now everything else, it did it fantastically. I mean, it charged my phone, it charged my GoPro, it charged batteries. It did all of those tasks very well, including charging this small Blue Eddy. So I just want to put that out there because I don't want you guys to think that if you purchase this panel that it's going to work good for charging all your solar generators because in my case, that didn't happen. So folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on this video, checking out this solar panel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I like it. Big thumbs up from me. Please make sure that you're checking the description box down below. I'll put a link to where you could find it. And to be able to utilize a 50% off coupon knocks the price down to around 60 bucks. You can't beat that for a panel like this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment down below. Like this video, share this video. And until next time, have a beautiful day. We'll see you then. Bye for now.